everybody, it's me, Jackie Armand. I'm back again with another uh, spooky craft video. Uh, today I thought we would kind of make a craft. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a little while actually, but kind of is like a twist on some Easter decorations. If you've ever seen those little like topiary, like bunnies and other creatures that kind of like look like they have moss covered all over them that people sometimes put as centerpieces on their table. I thought we would do something like that, but you know, make it spooky. The idea came to me because I have over here on our little end table here next to our couch for a while, I've had this little statue. It's like a replica of um, one of the sculptures from Delia Dietz from Beetlejuice. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite things. It's in like a little cloche. My husband made it for me back when we were dating like years ago. I think he made it for my birthday. And it's just something I've really loved. And I thought, you know, it kind of needs a little companion piece over there. So my thought was, why not make a little T-Rex topiary uh, the, like the one from Edward Scissorhands. I'll be darned. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that's the idea. So I kind of want to, I think my idea is I'm going to have the little T-Rex maybe um, like on the little close stand, maybe even have like a little fence uh, around him or part of him um, with some like trimmings around. So it looks like, you know, it was just snipped by Edward. I think it'll be kind of fun. It'll be a little smaller than what my Delia sculpture is. I think it'll be really cute over there with it, and it might be kind of just a fun twist on some Easter decorations, so, or spring even, um, not necessarily Easter. So uh, yeah, that's the plan for this video. So, you know, before we get into that, I would like to say that if this is the kind of content you like, if you like crafting, you like tutorials, you like spooky recipes, you like costuming, uh, that you would give this video a thumbs up and you would also hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. It is Halloween all year long here, not just in October. So if you like that, then stay with us because it is a lot of spooky fun on this channel. Also, if you would like to support this channel in a little more personal way, I have a Patreon. Patrons have access to lots of fun prizes um, and goodies, uh, including monthly giveaways and also access to patron only videos. I have a patron only little horror host type show uh, called Terror Tube. Uh, the first episode is actually coming March 31st to patrons only. It is a fun kind of little Halloween-y uh, show, like I said, very horror host inspired and where we just do more Halloween stuff. The first episode, which like I said, will be out March 31st, is about my ultimate Halloween music playlist. And when I say ultimate, I mean ultimate. <laughs> it is 87 songs long. So uh, if you are interested in knowing what I like to put on my Halloween playlist, then um, head on over to patreon.com slash Jackie Arment and think about giving a little bit of support and becoming a patron. Even patrons on the lowest tier at $3 a month will have access to the Terror, to Terror Tube episodes. And also just a, that much even just helps every single month. A little, every little bit helps. I guess with all that being said, without further ado, we will go ahead and get into the video. Let's go. Okay, we are in the handy dandy craft room again to do this. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you some of the stuff I bought. Um, I don't have everything yet. I think obviously I'm gonna put this in a cloche too so that it doesn't get dusty, but I haven't bought the cloche yet. So I'm kind of waiting until he's done. I'm probably going to get a plastic one so that he doesn't break if it gets knocked over because I do have a cat that is very mischievous and she likes to get into things. Speaking of which, Lydia, stop. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far and 
we'll get to the cloche thing when we get there. But so I've got a little T-Rex here. He's so cute. You can see it. He's just, I kind of tried to pick one that was the most like the um, way the one is standing in the movie. Wow. With just, you know, the pose as close as possible. I was thinking, I didn't know if I was going to put some like model magic in the mouth, but you know, since it's not hollow, it might be fine. I might be able to just like really stuff some moss in there and uh, it might not matter. That's hopefully what's going to happen. But anyway, yeah, he's this little guy. So we'll have him on some kind of a little platform that goes with whatever cloche. I'll probably have to take him to the store so that I can make sure he fits. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Good. Remember it because it's going to come back to haunt me later. But basically the idea is I've got some of this, which I got at Hoppy Lobby. You can get it at a lot of other craft stores. And it's this powdered turf. It's for dioramas. Uh, so it's like what people would use when they make small little models and stuff for grass. Uh, so I thought this would be the best thing to do as a base coat on him. So I'm, I'm going to try using some spray adhesive first probably, maybe in a little spot to see if it works. And if that works, then I'm just gonna spray adhesive and stick it on. If it doesn't, I've got Mod Podge, which I think will work too, to stick this on. But this is mostly just gonna be to cover him so that the plastic dinosaur doesn't show uh, anymore. Um, so that gets all hidden, right? And then um, after that, I'm gonna kind of go in with this with this some moss that I also got at the dollar store, or not the dollar. I, mean, I also got at Hobby Lobby, which you can get some moss at the dollar store. I'm not saying you can't. I have found some before, um, but I needed more than what they offered. But and I'm gonna kind of go over it with some of this finer moss in here and just cover it so he looks more like a shrub, right? And I tried to get, like, I tried to make the turf really match this moss as best I could so that, you know, this is basically just for the gaps not to show. And this is just gonna be extra. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't think, completely cover him in this, but, you know, this is gonna make him look more organic and natural, like, like a shrub, like I said, like a shrub. And then the only other thing I bought at Hobby Lobby was just this little fencing. Because like I said, I'll probably put some of it either all the way around the uh, cloche bottom or maybe just might just do like a little corner behind him. So you get the effect that he's like in a backyard without actually, you know. And then I might take some of this extra moss, which I'm hoping to have, and this cover the bottom with this and then have some of this the bottom glued to look like little trimmings. That's the idea. So which I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be cute. So yeah, so the first step what we'll do is we'll work on coating this. So I'm gonna do like maybe on the tail or something a little practice spot with the, my spray adhesive that I have. Uh, let's see if I can get it out. Didn't look for it. Do I even have it? Or is it gone? Oh shoot. Maybe I don't even have it. Well. Okay, well, I can't find my spray adhesive. <laughs> so I guess that's not going, we're not gonna test that. So I'm just gonna guess do a little bit of Mod Podge. I'm just gonna use probably the mat and just sprinkle some of it on there. Let's see if it sticks. Um, I'll probably do a little test, like I said, before I do the whole thing. And it's probably going to take some time to dry, I bet. Any, I bet you anything. So it might be tomorrow by the time we do the rest. Uh, or, the you know, whatever the next day uh, before we do the rest. But anyway, that's what we're going to do first. So let's get to it. All 
right, here I am testing the Mod Podge out. Um, spoiler alert, it did not work. <laughs> uh, it just would not stick. So I changed tactics and went with a rubber cement. Um, it seemed to work better. It The stuff was still kind of falling off, and you'll see later on that it just kind of continued to fall off, because it just didn't really want to stick to anything. I, I don't know if I was just using the wrong glue or what, but... It worked well enough, and I figured any spaces I could just cover with the moss when I got to that part. So, so yeah, I just used the rubber cement all over and proceeded to stick this powdery grass all over it, and I let it dry pretty much overnight. day all right uh it's the next day and here i am applying the moss i pretty much just covered all over it um just kind of made it look as aesthetically pleasing as i could i tried to pick pieces of the moss that were mostly green uh, as opposed to the browner pieces um i did use some of the browner pieces in like places that you couldn't really see and I'm using this chopstick here to kind of push the moss down uh, after I put the glue down because I didn't want to burn myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my technique. I just did that kind of all over uh, until it was completely covered.
All right, it's day three of the project, and we have encountered a problem. <sighs> Remember when I said this? I'll probably have to take him to the store so that I can make sure he fits. I'll probably have to take him to the store so that I can make sure he fits. Yeah, well, obviously I didn't do that. <laughs> because after, like... Two weeks of looking for a cloche and finally finding one, I brought it home and realized he didn't fit. Part of the problem was that I thought that just measuring him would be fine, and so I measured the bottom from tail to feet, but the problem came from the fact that he has a head that kind of sticks out a little bit, so I needed to measure from head to tail, and I did not do that. So. My solution here, obviously, is to just cut the tail off. And I thought that would work perfectly. Um, just cut his tail off, you know, put some moss on it, call it a day. Because the actual picture from the Edward Scissorhands movie, he doesn't really have much of a tail anyway. So fine, whatever. But it still did not want to go over this T-Rex. I don't know... Why? I guess maybe it just really wasn't that big, and it, and no matter how much I cut that tail off, it just still didn't want to completely really go over it, and it was kind of frustrating. And you'll see eventually, I, you know, after trying over and over and over to get this close to fit, I just eventually just gave up and decided I'm just going to do whatever I want on the base here, and if the... And if I just display it without the dome over it, then fine. Uh, so, anyway. But, yeah, here you see me just decorating the base here. Um, this time I'm trying a different glue with this grass again. I tried this tacky glue, and it did work a little bit better. I also was really impatient and didn't wait for it to dry, and I probably should have done that. But um, And then I'm just kind of gluing everything to it. The T-Rex, the um, I glue some more moss around the base to kind of hide some of the bald spots and then also uh, to kind of look like little trimmings like Edward had just cut it and um, and then of course I put the fence in I think I just used some pliers to cut the fence uh, however long I needed it to be and just glued it in place as well and then that that was pretty much it that's all there was to it
Okay, everybody, so we're done. <laughs> I think it turned out okay. Um, like, not with the cloche not on it. It's super cute. The stand looks really good. The white with the, you know, white fence. And it's really cute. It's very, you know, Edward Scissorhands, I think, kind of vibes. It gives that, it gives that vibe, I think, uh, which is kind of what I was going for. I only did the fence around the back. I thought about doing it around the front and then I was like, you know, it's too much. So I think this gets the point across, you know, it's like, it looks like it's in a backyard or whatever, but yeah, so it's really cute without the cloche on. With, <laughs> with the cloche on, obviously I ran into some problems just covering the, I've still got, still got strings uh, on this thing. Obviously the tail was an issue, um, but I thought once I cut that off that we would be fine and dandy, but we were not. Uh, I still struggle. I think it was just, it's just the size of the cloche. And unless I just really like completely cut this tail off, it did not want to fit in there. And you know, the cloche sits on it fine. It's just a little crooked. It doesn't want to completely go all the way on on this side, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I, I mostly wanted it to be in a cloche because I wanted it to kind of go with the other one, the Beetlejuice thing I have, and also kind of keeps it from getting dusty. That was kind of the point. But I, you know what, whatever. And you know, another problem too, I think is like the cloche also, the dome is just so tall compared to this. And this is just so small. And it just kind of looks ridiculous with this really tall dome on it. So I don't know, maybe I could find just a glass dome somewhere like Hobby Lobby or something that was maybe bigger that, that wouldn't have to go in the lip. It could just sit on top of this and maybe is shorter or even just co completely covers the entire thing. I mean, that wouldn't be the end of the world. I could, you could just be sitting on the, on the thing uh, and just have a dome completely over it. So I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Considering how like hard it was to find a cloche in the, in the first place, just was kind of ridiculous. And I, I was shocked that it was really hard to find a cloche. But anyway, you know, I think it turned out okay. I think it turned out fairly the way I wanted it to look. You know, notes for any of you who want to try it. Um, that diorama grass was like the bane of my existence. It was awful. I hated it. It got everywhere but where I wanted it to be. <laughs> it would not stick to things. Like, I, I wanted it to stick to... I tried so many different glues. I tried hot glue. I tried tacky glue. I tried the rubber cement and nothing. It didn't want to stick to any of it, but then it would stick to the hot glue gun. It would stick to my fingers. It would stick to the mat. It would stick to everything, but the thing I wanted it to stick to. And I don't know how, I mean, I've never used that stuff before. So, I mean, if there's any of you out there who have ever done dioramas and you know what I'm doing wrong, maybe I'm just using the wrong kind of glue or I'm not letting it dry long enough. Cause I mean, I did get kind of impatient some of these uh, during some of the process. I was like, I just want to do this now and, and everything, but ugh, I hated it. Um, I would not recommend using it if you don't know what you're doing or maybe you don't have the right glue or something, but it's awful. I hate it. <laughs> I hated it. I'm probably gonna throw the rest of it away because I don't think I will use it for anything else uh, unless I figure out what I did wrong. Um, like I said, maybe I had the wrong glue, but I don't know. But the moss worked out really great. I mean, I've used moss before and it, it really does look like a shrub. It looks like, it looks like a little topiary. It's super cute. I, I, so, I mean, the moss worked out really, really good. And, you know, the grass was okay uh, for filling in like some of the tiny gaps or whatever, but, and it looks okay here on this, but, but anyway, yeah, let me know if I did anything wrong. Um, if you guys know what I did or didn't do right with the, uh, with that grass, but 
Anyway, so yeah, I'll probably just let it sit without a dome on it for now. I'll probably find another glass dome to put on over it, maybe a bigger one. Um, I don't know, but yeah, if you if you learn anything from me, it's that you should measure um, or just bring the thing with you to the store <laughs> uh, or measure it correctly from head to tail instead of from just the feet, the bottom, because that was the first mistake. And then get a big enough cloche. I, I think overall it 90% turned out great. I really like the way it looks without the dome on it for now. But yeah, <laughs> this was just another case of, you know, a project that I thought was going to take a short amount of time, like a weekend, uh, to actually take um, a lot longer than that. I guess in the scheme of things, it really only took three days, but it took me a couple weeks to find a cloche, to go on a search for one and find one. Um, I probably could have ordered one online, but I was worried about it not fitting, and that happened anyway, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, anyway, but I, I hope you guys liked this watching this video anyways um, And maybe you would want to try making this yourself and Maybe you'll do a better job than me or maybe you'll learn from my mistakes But anyway, yeah, I think it does end up looking really cute over next to my Beetlejuice statue Even without the dome on it. It looks cute over there um, Next to it and so I got like like my little Tim Burton stuff over there. I like it uh, so overall a win and it's cute and I really enjoy it. Yeah, so that's it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did and you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new, post a new video. <clears throat> as far as new videos go, I know it's been slow on this channel for me, but like, you know, this time of year when it's not Halloween, it's hard for me to roll out content or to think of things um, that are kind of spooky that are go all year. Plus, just these kind of videos don't get as many views as my Halloween stuff. So I, I don't really like try to crank out a lot of videos, unfortunately. But it's April. So honestly, it's going to the Halloween prep is starting for me. Once it starts getting warm in springtime, I want to start prepping for Halloween. And in the years past, the my Halloween party planning videos have always come out in April. So the next video will be me sitting down with my planner and planning my Halloween party, which this year our Halloween party's theme is trapped in a video game. So there's gonna be a lot of things that I can do with that. Um, and I'm really excited to sit down and plan it. So that's what will be the next video. I will make a cocktail uh, that kind of is themed with the theme of the party and we'll sit down and with my planner and you can watch me plan. And uh, I will come up with all the ideas that I want to do for the party. And you'll kind of get to see a sneak peek of what kind of videos will be out for the rest of the year until spooky season because the majority of the videos will be making crafts and prepping for the Halloween party and costuming and stuff like that. So uh, I'm excited about it. This is the time where I really get excited about making content and stuff. So, so yeah, get excited about that. Also, I have been working on content on my Patreon. Uh, so if you're thinking about, you know, wanting to support this channel a little bit more than just hitting that subscribe button, you can go to patreon.com slash Jackie Armand and think about giving it a little bit of support. Um, even the lowest tier of $3 a month gets access to the extra videos that I post there, um, along with a bunch of other Halloween spooky goodies. So the first video that I have that is there now aired March, March 31st. And it is uh, called Terror Tube, and it is a kind of a horror host type show hosted by me, um, where we just do some extra spooky stuff that maybe I've been wanting to do, but like doesn't really fit this channel super well. So they're gonna go there. And uh, the first video is a um, one about my ultimate Halloween playlist. So the songs that I feel deserve a spot on a Halloween party playlist to listen to. So um, that's there. I think it's part one right now. I had intentionally 
And I had intended it for to, it to be an entire video, but it got really long, so I'd split it into two. So part one is up. Part two should be up either by the end of this week or the next week. But yeah, so if that's interesting to you, if you want to know what I have on my Halloween uh, music playlist that um, I personally like to listen to, then you can head to Patreon and check it out. Uh, and it means a lot to me to um, anybody who wants to support my channel because that really helps me make better and more content for you guys. So please think about that. And that video was really fun to make. So I'm kind of excited to make some more uh, terror tube stuff. So anyway, and uh, of course I will leave um, links to my social media in the description of this video, uh, my Instagram and TikTok, uh, where I have extra spooky stuff that maybe doesn't always make it to YouTube. Things that I do in my life that are spooky or other events that maybe I, uh, parties I plan or things like that, that just, um, don't necessarily get a YouTube video, but they get a post on Instagram. Sometimes they get a TikTok. So check that out. And also I will leave a link to my Etsy, Etsy shop where I sell spooky Halloween -y stuff all year long. It's mostly, mostly a lot of witchy prop potions and spooky stuff like that. So you can head there to check that out. And uh, also if you're looking for something to do in between my videos and everything and uh, my Patreon stuff, uh, you can, I have two books on Amazon. Uh, one is a zombie romance and one is a vampire adventure story. They are both available as paperback and Kindle versions. And you can read a little bit of the Kindle version at first to see if it's your thing or not. I'm also in the works of a third book. Uh, which you can check out at my author website, which I will also leave a link to in the description. And uh, it is about a young woman who is possessed by a demon. Like I said, you can le read a little snippet of that uh, on my author website and um, get excited about it because I've been writing a lot of it lately and it should be done hopefully soon. But yep, that's pretty much it. So look forward to more spooky content. Look forward to... Halloween prep, prep uh, which is going to be soon. And uh, again, thank you guys all for all the love and support, the likes and subscribes. It means the world to me. And uh, that's it. So of course, stay spooky and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.